my lovely leo sun moon rising and venus signs let's see what needs to come up for you i have go slow take time to get to know each other working less will help strengthen your relationship acceptance know that everything happens for a reason there could be some time apart on the horizon that would help bring clarity and you know clearing your energy field and focus on yourself before acting or making a decision in regards to relationship all right leo so i can see this from a mile away all right you've been dealing with someone things been going great but at the same time it's like when you <laughs> when you go towards them it's like they have their guard up right when you express how you feel it's like they get defensive leos and it's like i'm just trying to tell you how i feel and it's like they have their guard up and i feel like leos you don't know how much you're gonna take more of this right like it's like i'm confused on how you feel like i know you've been hurt before i don't want to keep feeling like i'm doing something wrong so it's like should i just move on block you keep it moving or if you're just so much of a workaholic like you're waiting on a stable commitment or um leveling up your relationship due to some financial or work obligations okay because here you are in your nine of pentacles leos like you're flourishing you're doing great and it's like you want love over energy to lovers in reverse you're just not feeling it anymore and it's like you know what i can be better about my Myself with the lover's card you could be dealing with the gemini here a lot of stress and anxiety on your part right now leo so we're gonna try this clear this out like why is this delay happening and again i feel like you're kind of questioning yourself on whether i should stay in a connection put up with this or sit on my throne you know um nurture my life focus on healing here and not taking action on someone that's basically not giving me anything at this point so i have the seven of wands and seven of pentacles seven seven angel numbers coming in so it's like you gave this person time and it's like you thought maybe luck can happen to where it's like maybe this person will step it up or get it together and it's like they haven't they have an emotional tie on you that's kind of hard to let go and again the passion and chemistry is great but at the same time you want more than just passion and chemistry and that's why the death card is hovering around leos you also could be dealing with the scorpio here it's karma in reverse and the hangman i feel like this person yeah they're hanging on this on deciding if they want to commit and be for a blown relationship with you they're like hanging on trying to figure things out you don't have time for that you want family you want marriage you want love you want all that here and it's like i can just be by myself or you're just going to keep giving me the run around so i definitely understand so let's just see how this person is feeling about you i definitely do feel like there's feelings there but again they just feel like they're not stable enough to be in a commitment this is someone that you have known for a long time here and it's just exhausting you and i feel like leos you know what to do like this person is very childish in regards to speaking up in their emotions it's so heavy for them to express anything here you know it's like they're in a deep hole trying to get out and then they can't and they have to express their feelings but they're just, but they're they're still stuck in a hole leos so i definitely understand let's see what this ace of cups is um representing here emperor energy the five of swords and the ten of pentacles yeah it's their ego it's their pride it's their pride that won't allow them to like be in this strong emperor energy here you could be dealing with the uh, aries i just said aries reading they're just they're just really stuck in their egos really focusing on you know the end game to where it's like they don't understand leos that you have to build a relationship to get to the ten of pentacles they understand what they need to do in regards to being a provider or nurturer you know um a protector here but they don't want to put in the work so that's why leos is kind of like you got to ask yourself do you do do you want to stay you know how, let's see just how they're really feeling here because right now it's just all about materialistic things like they understand what you're saying but you know they have to get there and that's why karma relationship is showing up you know letting go lessons treating um triggers turmoil fleeting resentment lessons letting go and loving you watching looking gaslighting it's the gaslighting perception and focusing out they're focusing so much on the end game so are you but again they're not taking the steps in a physical present moment to build a relationship they're being really lazy leo so i definitely understand here i have camera reminiscing keepsake yeah self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship the high priest is here the hierophant you could be dealing with the taurus it's like they want to have their cake and eat it too leos for sure the ace of wands you're gonna keep being disappointed by this person if, if you wait for them you're gonna keep being angry it's what spirit is telling me 
So let's get some Oracle cards, Leos. What can you do right now? You know, I feel like you definitely need to take a step back. I, got, I can clearly see why time apart is on the horizon. Some distance where hope bring clarity. Pull back, go slow. Accept that everything happens for a reason. And just focus on yourself because know that you are protected here. A lot of obstacles that you guys got to get through to get to this faded partnership. And right now, Leo Spirit wants you to release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go at the moment to clear out this confusion. All right, I have voice your concerns and leave it at that, okay? Say the beautiful beautiful things in life and with open intuition, seek some clarification. Talk to them one, one last time. And if they still give you this confusion and run around, which I, which I feel like they are because the nine of swords is in reverse, um, then pull it back. You know, kind of just not necessarily block them out. Block them if you have to move forward to new love here. See your options here. I feel like a lot of you are like on dating apps. See what's out there. You know, but don't let them keep your heart closed off, right? Don't let them keep this pain in your heart here. Three of Swords is in reverse. A lot of pain and grief that you feel. Like, stay in your Queen of Cups energy, focusing on your self-love, self-care, and nurturing. Like I said, they're never, they're, they're, they're not going to find someone like you. And it's like, you're going back and forth on who you are as a person, dealing with this mess, Leos. And, you know, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords energy, this is not you. For some of them, you know, if you're dealing with the Aries reading, that Aries reading came out that they had another option here. There's just two queens that's showing up, dealing with the Aries for sure. Check that video out. And they also could be confused. You also could be feeling like they're confused between choosing between you and someone else. And they are. They definitely are. They don't want to take action and they don't want to want to keep stringing you along because they don't really know what they want either. So just be mindful of that. Could be a child involved as well, Leo's, all right? I have the Eight of Wands energy, the will card in reverse here with your Queen of Pentacles. Spirit just wants you to move forward. Let's see what's coming in for you. Once you follow your intuition, the fourth is coming in for it. Cubs for a Pentacles. Stability is trying to come in for you, but you have to let go. I have the strength card to push past this ace of swords energy again create open communication and voice your concerns here if you don't speak up you're going to keep feeling kind of miserable here so take a chance be strategic about it you know you know exactly what i mean leo's by that i have the sun card with the five of cups energy so this is regret sadness grief here and it's like you guys see the positive but then like this person is just not on your timeline and i feel like that's what aries reading just came out like do you guys just not on the same path and you know that's why you have learned a spiritual lesson there's some healing old wounds and childhood issues you're revisiting on their part and wait the timing is not quite right for this connection to go anywhere so you know pull back a little bit pull back for the rest of january if you have to again the chapter is not closed but you got to embrace your inner child and what you want in regards to love and don't be afraid to let go of this connection okay go and retreat mode pull back and really evaluate what you want because you can um, voice your concerns tell this person how you feel and if they still don't want that leos then it's time to move forward it's safe for you to love it's safe for you to continue to open your heart and allow some new love that is trying to come in your way here you know you are attractive stop misfilling the roses stay present and love will come you know the engagement here your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment there's another strong connection that i see on the horizon that's trying to come in and it's all in once you choose yourself and let go of the situation here because i do feel like nine of cups energy in the chariot this person doesn't want to let you go just be they might actually try to get you pregnant just be careful of that they don't want to let you go but they're again wanting to have their cake and eat it too so if you intuitively feel a shift that's coming in where it's like nah this is bad news and move forward take this risk go in hermit mode see options see what's out there okay you might feel a little bit unbalanced Sagittarius Leo energy but you're going to manifest exactly what you want with the three of wands energy and that's a relationship so if you hesitate or keep being manipulated by this person it's not going to come in your toilet cups is just, just going to be stagnant but once you let go look at what comes in so if you keep hanging on you're not going to get this with this person at least right at least not right now this could be two to ten months for this person snaps out of whatever the heck they're going through because it's not about work it's, it's just about them not wanting to commit to you right now you've been dealing with another option and don't want to let the both of you go but i'm telling you leos once you do there's another engagement new love that is trying to come in once you have done the inner work once you start to fill your cup up and get rid of this interference with the three of cups in reverse focus on healing is when new love will come in here but you have to fully let this go like a permanent ending to seek stability here because this person will just keep leading you on and once you do this when the universe will bless you with the fulfilling stable emotionally mature relationship leos all right i'm gonna leave it here guys have a wonderful week